Edinburgh by William McGonagall, beautiful city of Edinburgh, where the tourist can drown his sorrow by viewing your monuments and statues fine during the lovely summer time. I'm sure it will as birds cheer as Sir Walter Scott's monument he draws near that stands in East Prince Street amongst floral gardens fine and neat. In Edinburgh Castle is magnificent to be seen with its beautiful walks and trees so green, which seems like a fairy dell, and nearby its rocky basement in St. Margaret's Well, where the tourist can drink at when he feels dry, and with a castle from Benefs very high, which seems almost towering to the sky. When as for Nelson's monument would stand on Corlton Hill, as the tourist gazes on, with wonder as hard as fill, as he thinks of Admiral Nelson or the Frenchman kill, when as for Salisbury cracks, they are most beautiful to be seen, especially in the months of June, when the grass is green. The numerous molehills can be seen, and the busy little creatures hawking away, searching for worms among the clay. As the tourists idlers wander to and fro from the south side of Salisbury Creeks below, his bosom with admiration feels all aglow, as he views the beautiful scenery in the valley below. And if, with an observant eye, with a lock between his scans, he can see the white ducks about in beautiful white swans. When as for Arthur's seat, I'm sure it is a treat most worthy to be seen, on its ragged rocks and pastures green, and the sheep browsing on its sides, to and fro with slow paced strides, and the lambkins at play during the lifelong summer day, beautiful city of Edinburgh, the truth to express, your beauty so matches, I must confess, and which no one dare again say, but you are the grandest city in Scotland at the present day.